I think for Cuban Americans, or for Cuban exiles, Miami became Havana, USA in 1965. Now prior to 1965, Cubans who came to the United States viewed themselves as temporary residents. They thought that um, within a matter of time, Castro would be overthrown and they would be able to return to their homeland. But with every year, that seemed less likely. First came the Bay of Pigs invasion, uh, which made it quite clear that um, Castro was not going to be overthrown anytime soon. Then came the Cuban Missile Crisis and the kennedy Khrushchev Accords, where the United States basically committed itself to not, um, at least in theory, and not uh, overthrowing Fidel Castro. And then with the freedom flights, uh, when the freedom flights were negotiated between Cuba and the United States in 1965, that launched the second wave of post-Castro migration, bringing in uh, 1,000 to 1,500 new residents each week. I think it became clear um, to Cubans already living in South Florida, that um, that their stay that they were going to have a longer stay in the United States than first anticipated. Um, I remember growing up um, every New Year's Eve, the the annual toast was next year in Havana. Well, with every year that went by, um, <laughs> we stopped saying uh, it, it became very clear that we were going to stay in the United States and that we wouldn't be returning to Havana.